Now that my special chess table is complete, it's time for the finish. After finish sanding, I remove the chessboard from the table. I want a high gloss, mirror-like finish on the top. Walnut is an open grain wood, and with a high gloss finish, the finish itself will not fill the grain. The grain will give the finish a texture. Glass, on the other hand, has no texture. So to fill the grain, I'm using a water-based grain filler. I pack it into the grain with a plastic scraper. Maple is a closed grain wood, and the filler will have no effect on it. When the filler is dry, I scrape off the extra. I take burlap and rub the remainder off the surface until all the extra filler is removed. After a light sanding with 220 grit sandpaper, I spray a sealer coat of lacquer After scuff sanding the sealer with 320 grit paper and with the board back in the table, I then spray eight coats of lacquer and let it completely dry for seven days. To level the finish, I wet sand using a mixture of dish soap and water and 400 grit sandpaper. Now to start sanding. I'm using the soap and water as a lubricant. I start with 1500 grit sandpaper, wiping it down completely between each grit. Eighteen hundred grit, twenty four hundred grit. 3200 grit, 3600 grit, 6000 grit, 8000 grit. And I finished the sanding with 12,000 grit sandpaper. You can see the shine I have so far. Now to take it to the next level. I use pumice stone mixed with the same soapy water solution to form a paste. And for the final step, I use rotten stone, making a paste and some hard rubbing Watch the shine appear. Now that is just like glass. Now with the board removed, I repeat all the steps on the rest of the top. My next video will be making the custom maple and walnut chessmen. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.